I suppose here I am trying to push it a bit and find out, you know, if you if you go far with something, what would happen? You know, we're in one day trying to create enough footage so it actually feels like there's enough for people to see. And Jim and my gaffer sort of decided to go in a much smaller way than we would normally go on a film. I saw the tapestry room in um, on the Reckies. I just loved the colours of it. It's been quite hard to get to shoot in that room because it's an incredibly fragile tapestry and actually so we ended up having to light LEDs which um, I don't normally light with that much but that's all they allow so it's kind of interesting. What we were trying to do is just see the colour and see how many subtle tones we could see in that low light. Um, it's, it's pretty, you know, it, there's not an awful lot of light flying around there and it's just interesting to see what happens between the reds and the greens and then to have the dress as well just to pop it up and just see the range of the image. Quite exciting today, so first time ever that we are shooting with the new Venice camera here. For a long period of developing this nice tool, so finally first time ever shooting some scenes with it, so as I said, exciting times for us today. The, the fact that I really love from the camera is that the camera is 500 data, which is very interesting nowadays going to be one of the more interesting cameras on the market. Well, upstairs we are kind of playing with a bit of mixed light, so we had a sort of soft light coming in through the windows, and that was about 4,500 Kelvin, and then we had tungsten inside, so that was like quite warm. So we're just looking at how light on the skin separates um, with different colour temperatures. See, I mean, it's something I play with a bit on films, and I really like when you mix colour temperatures. Um, so I'm just interested to see how it works. Uh, found previously with a, a film I shot with the F65, I did a lot of mixed light, and it, the more we did it, the more the director loved it. And um, so I'm kind of interested to see what happened here. One of the nice things about the new camera is that it records in XOCN, which is still a 16-bit linear file. And with the new car recorder we can get with uh, speeds up to 450 megabytes per second. So it's a really fast download. We've just had a quite a hectic session chasing the light on um, daylight outside on the front of the house and the variable ND is really helpful because you can make the changes really quickly. You know, I actually think it's one of the best things I've seen at the camera, we've got, you know, aside from the chip, it works really well. That saved us about 20 minutes of filter changes <laughs> in five setups. We have had sun up, sun down, sun up, sun down and you just, normally you just you can never find the right ND between sun up and sun down, so um, it's good. Uh, it feels really nice in the hand. Actually, I really like the handheld. It sits really nicely. It's well balanced. We pushed it right to the limit. Now uh, we'll get in the DI and see how it does. But I think it'll be something. There's there's lots of nice highlights there. The point of doing this was to try and push it and try and create different looks. But also, you know, we put in a bit of a real world environment. We got had a lot of locations, lots of different things going on. Um, and as usual, you're behind and you're having to rush and see how it copes and it's done really well.